I'm going to demonstrate how you can do over the air programming of an Arduino using the Editware Shield and ESP Link software on the ESP8266 module connected to the Editware Shield. The first thing that we got to do is download a software called Tebo VSP. You can Google Tebo Virtual Serial Port, and the first link that comes up is the Tebo Device Server Toolkit. This is the software that we have to install. I have already downloaded this software on my laptop. Let me install this software. This software allows you to make a virtual serial port that connects a serial port which is virtual in nature, it's not a physical port, to a specific Wi-Fi address or an IP address at a port. Let's see how that's done. So you navigate to uh, your programs list and you search for Tebo VSP Manager. Once you're here, click on Add. Select a port from this list, which is the port that is assigned always to your Arduino. I am going to choose COM11. The transport protocol has to be TCP, routing mode is client, out of band, on the fly command have to be out of band. All, all these configuration settings are going to remain the same. The IP address is the IP address of the ESP link on your network. For me, it is 192.168.1.106. This is the IP address of my ESP link, which is there on my network. I am going to put that IP address here. The port that ESP link runs on is port 23. I am going to put that here. In the default serial settings, you have to just change the baud rate to 115200 and click OK. Now you can see that you will have a COM11 whose destination is 192.168.1.106. You can now open your Arduino IDE. Choose any program that you want to program. I'm going to choose Blink. Right. In this, I'm going to choose COM11 as my Arduino, which is the COM I chose in the Tipo VSP program. Hit Upload. It's going to compile the sketch. And the upload starts. After a while, the upload finishes and you can see the program running on an Arduino. It shows done uploading here, which means the program has successfully been uploaded to your Arduino. This is how you can program your Arduino over the air using the Idiotware Shield.